Yo, welcome back to more Kaguya Sama Season 2. Uh, wait, Kaguya Sama Love is War Season 2, Episode 11. All those words. Last time was a really good episode. I really like seeing Shirogana's dad come into the picture, man. Dude is a perfect, uh, embarrassing parent. And um, the way he kind of tested Kaguya at the end was pretty pretty nice. We got to hear Kaguya say some very endearing things about Shirogane. Then realizing it was his dad just going, just boo. Uh, 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 and Shiro kind of like, what did you tell her? Amazing. Of course, he has the Dio voice, which just adds to it. Love that guy's voice. I've never seen JoJo's, but in everything else I've heard him in, it's awesome. Uh, so yeah, that was the thing. Uh, K was a little bit at the very beginning, you know, kind of... Kind of got a bit of her perspective being like, you know, in a rebellious teenager phase and wanting to know what's going on with Shirogane in his love life and but not wanting to sh show like she's interested, you know, kind of a weird pseudo sundere kind of thing going on. But at the very end, uh, you no, know, the advice she gave him was kind of reflecting her own feelings. Uh, I hope we see more of K, man. Uh, that was cool. It was, it was pretty short and we got also got the introduction to their dad at that point was a, a proper introduction it was it was nice man i hope to see more of k in the future maybe she'll get her own episode at some point we also had Ko a little bit of kobachi as well i'm kind of skipping around here a little bit of kobachi and it was that was cool because she was kind of expressing um how she sees um ishigami and miko ino as pretty similar we saw examples like how he took the the sign off her back that people put on her and she even petitioned uh against people that were trying to get him from continuing to high school because apparently there was a situation where what people said happened was that he was like stalking some girl and then beat up the boyfriend of that girl which doesn't she even said like we haven't gotten his side of the story so that really made me think ah, okay maybe it's one of those things but it, either way it tarnished his reputation it kind of explains why people feel about him the way they do now why he's kind of been forced as to be a bit a bit of an outsider even more than b being introverted and in just who he is it's just that's a big hurdle for him and yeah man it's it really fucking sucks to put in put that into context definitely but it was also nice to see him thrive a little bit after that you know how kobachi went and kind of expressed concern for him to the the cheer captains uh and he he got some shine at the end man with the the three-legged race he was he was hanging in there. He got some cheers. I like seeing Ishigami prosper, dude. So, and speaking of, I, this episode is Ishigami closes his eyes, part three. So, we'll see how this I guess arc for him keeps going. Uh, he's continuing in the cheer squad. He seems to be doing fine, especially now. You know, rough rough beginning, of course. It's not not his kind of thing, but he he's going for it. He's opening up. He's putting himself out there. It's beautiful, man. So that was great. Uh, uh, besides that, uh, <laughs> Shirogana learning the dance, amazing. Kind of made me feel a way too, just because I'm not the best dancer. I try when the occasion calls for it, but I probably wouldn't do much better. But yeah, dude, he he figured it out at the end when they were tugging on him, and he became like the, like how you tug on the rope. Like, <laughs> but that made sense to him. So fuck it, dude. It was hilarious. And I can't wait to see where it goes now, man. It looks like um, it'll go into uh, Miyuki and Ishigami's relationship, like their friendship. So that'll be cool. And Kyoko Otomo doesn't realize. Um, huh, so we'll see how this goes, man. Let's check this episode out. Beginning the episode in three, two, one. Oh, that's what's going through his mind. Okay, so they did the dressing in the different clothes thing. So we're still at the... <laughs> so we're still doing this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh my goodness. You crazy, huh? <laughs> I remember that. It's the 
Oh my, nice yell. Damn, he's doing it. Heck yeah. Mm hmm? I like that cheer. I like the drum. Ah, uh, look at him. He's having a good time. Hey. Good shit. <laughs> oh, you crazy kids. Yeah, it was. Good job. Uh-huh. Remember that feeling. It might go away, but remember the feeling. Wait, what? Wait, is this the girl I was watching before? Yeah. And I was like, who's that? I mean, yes. The fuck? You just say that and then walk away? Oh, there. She's not having it. I guess her and her little group over there. Like I said, Ishigami, remember what you just felt. Don't let it go already. Ah, damn it, dude. I knew this would happen. Fuck, I, I know it's hard. Just immediately reminded. Hey, listen. Wait, what? Why would you try that? Oh, man. What a dork. Oh, he's not feeling great, but he could do it. Oh, he was afraid it was going to be something bad. Yeah, that one thing that happened. Come on, fast boy, let's go. <laughs> this is what he needs, come on. I'm glad the cheer squad's there for him. Kind of keep him, keep him focused. Words. His voice. What fun. What festivities. Man, those, that chick really soured his mood. Is it that maybe the chick he was... That he liked in middle school? That he got a bad rep over? Oh my god. It just keeps getting to him. Even with Kaguya and Shirogane. Yo. The TV effect. Oh man. This, this is what anxiety feels like, by the way. I, I know what he's feeling. Definitely felt that paranoia. But yeah, man. Poor Ishigami. That's the same girl. So yeah, it is the one he must have liked. It, that's okay. So that's her in the title. Okay. Oh, It was nice to him. How nice. Sure. Now she doesn't seem... Oh, and those are the friends that we saw as well. Wow. So how did it get twisted into the bad rumor? I bet it's the same girl. Or whatever actually happened here. Okay, yep. Ko Ogino. I see. Sure.
I mean, that's fair. When you care for someone, you want them to be happy. As much as it hurts. Until that day. Yo. Oh, that's why he fought him. He's a piece of shit. Hmm. Right. I see. Okay, I think I get it now. God damn. Damn. Cheating on her. Holy shit. What a dick, dude. Yo. What the fuck, dude? Like, you can just go, god damn. Little garbage ass dude. What the fuck? I punch his ass too. If I, if I was that young, I probably would have too. God damn. God damn. Ishigami. Who <laughs> would approach that face? And everyone just saw he was beating him up. No context. Like, oh, Ishigami. Why? Wow, fuck this guy. What the fuck? Yo. So he's the one who started that. Jesus Christ. We've met our first piece of shit human in this, in Kaguya-sama. It's this guy. Of course, the theater douchebag is trying this. It's like, what do you say? No context, they just see the result. Of course, they believe the popular kid. You can't even explain it. If he did, it wouldn't matter. God damn. This is why he assumes everyone's always talking bad about him. Because they have been. God damn. And that's why she's so cold to him now. Woo. Wow. I really feel for my guy now. He just... Oh. Okay, there's more to it.
Oh. This is the next part of the episode. Hmm. This was the result. He stuck up for what he felt was right. That dude was a piece of shit. But he did have to deal with the result of his actions. God damn. This is a teacher in charge of counseling? <laughs> what the fuck? They put garbage in this locker? God damn. His confidence and pride gone. Wait, what? What the fuck? He can't apologize. Bullshit. Yeah, what a big man. He's like, he'd forgive me? Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god. This episode is like nothing I've ever seen in this show before, man. God damn. Even then. We saw how his hair has been growing out this whole time. Oh, so what happened on graduation day? Couldn't do it. No, 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 dude. It's not that. I know you do, man. But you better get ready, dude. Come on. Someone talk to him. He needs someone right now. Thank you. It's my fucking guy right there. I'm gonna fucking cry, man. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. He came over. That's what happened, huh? The best boy who ever was wearing that tassel. Hmm. The conclusion you were led to. Hey. Huh? 
Oh. Huh. She went to a different high school. That means she came for this event going on now. Oh. I see. Really? Huh. So that's what was going on. Huh. Sure. Yeah, for, yeah, sure. However. <laughs> yeah, you did. Hey. <laughs> yes, dude, yes. That's what the fuck I'm talking about, man. Oh my god. I love these boys, man. I love these boys. You've been through a lot. He boy, he needed that. He needed that. Yes, you're not crazy. And now you're going to run this anchor, man. You're going to fucking do it. Hey. 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 Watch this. Hey, watch this. Watch what he's about to do. Hey, watch this. <laughs> yes! He said it! He said it! Ooh. I'm done looking back. Let's go, Anchor. El Tomo, watch this. Yes, dude. Yes, dude. Go, Ishigami. This is, my, this is the best episode. This is my favorite episode. I won't bend no matter how much. No matter. Ooh, ooh, look, at, look at the people cheering for you. Even Miko Ino, dude. He didn't win. That's not, that's okay. That's not that's not what matters. No, no, no. You didn't fail. Not true. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was close. It was so close. Yeah, I guess they were already in the lead. The board game club. Yeah. This right here is what matters, man. Look at them all, man. <laughs> yeah. Let's go cheer squad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of lame, but it's good. It's good.
<laughs> Even if it's the truth. <laughs> oh, she didn't pass the entrance exam. Oh. Of course not. Huh. Blissfully ignorant. Yeah? <laughs> Kawaii. That was like a very kind version of her Okawaii Koto. <laughs> Yay, Team Red. Woo! Dude, he's so happy, dude. What are these balloons? Hey. <laughs> of the secret report formation. Hey, it was all... It was the three of them. Best episode. Best episode, dude. <laughs> oh man. Nice. Best episode. Best episode. Best episode. Best episode. As as good as this show has already been, and as great moments as as it's already had, it's never made me cry before. It's never gotten me to that point. Which is fine. A show doesn't have to do that. But it did. This episode did. It, uh, just to, to see, like, and to put in context the way Ishigami, how he's felt up to this point about people and his, um, his anxieties and his paranoia about people and where that comes from, you know, thinking back to his pride and his sense of, you know, justice that he felt when he was younger and what he did that for, for this girl who he just wanted to Wanted to protect that smile from this piece of shit guy. Could he have handled it better? Absolutely. Could he have punched him? I don't think so. But he did. And I don't think he was wrong for that necessarily either. But he did have to deal with the consequences of that. No one asked. No one even asked him why he did it. Everyone just took the motherfucker's word for it. And then just ran with that. Even the teacher in charge of counseling uh, grilled him. Like, yeah, he's, he's a good guy. He's like, he said, if you write a sincere apology, like, he'll forgive you. That's, he's a big man. Like, shut the fuck up, dude. Like, you're, you're all pieces of garbage, man. What the fuck? Like, who, who doesn't even listen to the side of the story, man? It's so, uh, so annoying, man. But Ishigami, he couldn't do it. So he was, he was sticking to that. He couldn't write an apology. And it, it, it was, but it was hurting, it was breaking him, he, it just day in and day out, like he couldn't return, and 
event eventually got to a point where it's like no i'm gonna tell everything that happened i don't care if he releases a revenge point of her i was like jesus dude like it's but that that he got to that point it was just it makes sense it was just so hard on him man and it eventually got to graduation day he held out held out that whole time and you know right at that breaking point our boy Miyuki Shirogane with the efforts of himself and the student council including Kaguya and um, our girl Fujiwara they write this report and even with Ishigami holding out actually resulted in something good like he didn't even end up going to the school which you know Kaguya was like oh no I wouldn't be so cruel as to you know pull strings to make sure he didn't get in no <laughs> maybe she didn't maybe she didn't doesn't matter probably but and he was he was there and he told you're not crazy do i think you could have been smarter yeah but you you did good and i'm gonna tell you what you should write on this fucking paper he takes the marker writes in giant letters go to hell dumbass like yes that's exactly what she he should have told him man and i for for ishigami just to to get that from um to get that from Shirogane, it was so important, man, because he was at the breaking point. He it was looking like he wasn't even gonna go on to high school, he wasn't gonna graduate junior high. Like what the like crazy, man. All from this, you know, quote unquote mistake. But our best boy came through, man, and Ishigami, he he pulled through, pulled through, anchoring that race. Just. Just being there was enough, man. That's the thing. Just just to be there, to be told you're not crazy, to be told that like when the world's against you, just for someone to be there for you, man, it's just it's so important for him to see the cheer club just be there for him. Even in the face of, of Otomo right there, just berating him, like you don't deserve this, you're why you look so happy. Just saying it, go to hell, dumbass. Fuck out of here. And even though he didn't win the race, that wasn't the point, man. He he is able to move forward, to move past that, to embrace the happiness that he has now. It's so nice to see that with Ishigami. And he is who he is. I'm sure he's going to maintain, you know, that the aspects of him that we, we know and we find endearing. But hopefully he's a bit happier moving forward. And it's that's a constant fight in itself because you things are going to get you down. Things are going to kind of remind you of that. But you just got to look at what's in front of you. Just keep going. It's all you can do. It's funny, like, even Otomo got her own sense of closure at the end. Like, yeah, I was able to come and tell Ishigami how I failed. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Like, throwing punches in the air. Their blissful ignorance. Just to see that smile that Ishigami wanted to protect. Even her friends was like, even if it's true, you shouldn't just say that. She's like, what? It's true. <laughs> it's so tough for me to pick a favorite character in this show between our, our student council members. Miko Ino's still kind of new, and she's like, so she's, you know, compared to like Miyuki Shirogane and Kaguya and Chika and Ishigami, like that ranking in itself is, is tough for me. But Ishigami is like, he's up there, dude. And this episode was by far my favorite in the series. And I don't know if that's going to change, man. I'm That set the bar emotionally just to see the, the arc of his, of where he started and what he doing what he felt was right and that despair he fell into and the effects of that that we see today is paranoia and anxiety and and, and coming out of that and and in, in today's time just finally being able to move on from it it's fucking beautiful man i i loved i loved all of that that was awesome so yeah i think that's all i gotta say about that one uh feel free to share any thoughts you had if was this your favorite episode I'd be surprised if it wasn't at least some of yours that this one was a favorite. For me, it's for me it's a no-brainer. There were some fantastic ones, but this one just takes the cake because it's it's like the culmination of just what we know about him and where he's been and his progression through this season, even when it comes to the cheer, the cheer club, and yeah, that was that was great, dude. Thank you so much for watching with me. Um 
If you want to get early access to the next episode reaction of this show, check out my Patreon in the description. Patreon.com slash Yoda Kobe for $5. Get early access to this show and everything else I do. I post every day. I post a schedule at the beginning of every week. If you want to see exactly how far ahead I am in the series. If you want a say in anime polls, gaming polls, that kind of thing, and to support the channel, check that out. But otherwise, once again, thanks so much for watching this amazing episode with me. And I'll see you next time. Peace.